Hi everybody, um, just doing a quick video, I made an impulse purchase, <coughs> no, it was a good decision, uh, with a new scrambler, um, I, I've never had an open face helmet, so I bought this of a chap, 30 quid, I'd be worn open face helmet. But I needed a scarf because um, it's you know UK is like freezing cold. So I was looking at these face masks, and I came across this rare bird tweed face mask with an internal filter, carbon filter in the nose piece here. It's hard to see against the black. Um, mega expensive now the only other face mask I could find apart from all those cheap neoprene ones I didn't really want a neoprene one cheap thing I wanted something that goes with my new bike shed leather gloves for summer stroke spring autumn riding now this is the rare bird winter mask it comes in this, they come in various different colours and, so, um, and sizes, which you must check, we'll talk about it in a second. Um, a fleece, really nice in lining. Now this version has a head strap, goes around the back of your head, hold it tight. I thought that might be an issue. Now the other one I found, which is the Nex, I think it's the Nex, it's called, um, it has a sort of partial balaclava effort. I thought it's going to be way too hot in the summer. Um, went out riding yesterday, pretty cold, early April. You get what you pay for, I must say. All right, we'll talk about pricing. Let me just put it on so you can see. Now, you have to put this head strap quite high on your head, I found. The first couple of times I put it on, I put it too low, slipped down over my ears, and the helmet pushed it down. I don't know if you can hear me. Comes right down below your jacket line. Yeah, first time we went out, first as we drove off, I never got the, the Velcro on properly and they came off and was flapping around for about 10 miles because I thought, Christ, this is rubbish, it's freezing. Um, I don't think I had that head, head strap high enough when I first put it on. The nose piece seemed a little bit slack. It's got like a pinch piece in there so you can pinch it around your nose. Um, now we were out for a couple of hours just yet. I redid redid the felt car on the back and lovely and warm um, I would say better than wearing a scarf and a full face lovely um, I didn't feel a thing uh, the only thing was I found that when you've got your glasses on sunglasses when you stop at the traffic lights it all steams up because the, the glasses are freezing and there were the warm air coming out there at the top of the mask steams them up straight away. Um, but I'm going to try several different pairs of glasses because the ones I was wearing yesterday, um, it was better without them because the wind turbulence was made my eyes water. Anyway, that is the rare bird um, tweed black tweed medium mask now they say to get your sizes you have to measure from the top of your nose to the point of your chin i was 13 right on the line of 13 14 i think um this was a, they do a small medium or large and they say go for the small one rather than the bigger one and i can understand that because i think it's all to do with this strap which too slack um now i bought this i I went on their website and said if you subscribe you get 10% off your first purchase and free postage. 
pre-postage worldwide any order over £60. Now when you go on the website to buy it, there was no link from your subscription to get your 10% off. And it said you had to pay postage, anything under £99. So I sent them a message, they sent me the discount code, which I don't know why they didn't give me that anyway. They're obviously thinking a couple of people might not bother. And there was no way of getting the free postage. So I sent them another message and they refunded me the postage after I paid for it. It's a lot of money, 89 quid. Um, but get what you pay for, I think. Um, like the gloves, these personalised items, that's why they're so expensive, is they've thought about it and to buy something similar, you've got to pay around 50 quid. Is it going to be as good? Um, I don't know, but I, you know, I would, you know, I don't often buy things expensive. If you've watched my bike videos, I make everything, even my crush helmet I bought second hand. Um, but something like this, which is close to your face, breath, and everything like that, um, that is a good bloody purchase, I think. Now we were out for a couple of hours yesterday. I didn't get cold at all. It was lovely. Um, fits really well. Um, I, I, I still think I might have had this strap a little bit loose because you've got to allow for putting your helmet on it moves down a little bit because uh, there's a little bit of maybe a gap here or maybe I didn't have this pinched in right but for the first ride out the bollocks so that I think that's all to say really they do it in quite a few different colours and they do a summer version but for the UK you know it's cold here all the time unless we have a summer like last year and then I'm going to take it off anyway there you go that's the rare bird a tweed face mask if you rare, rare bird boys see this and you want me to um, trial you some one send me one get in touch anyway I'll do a video on my bike tomorrow where was that yesterday I'll show you what I've been fiddling with it uh, put a new temperature gauge on there. There's another issue with that. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on my new bike glass. They were 85 quid as well. Cheers, see you later, bye.